I think we're live. Good, good afternoon, all my people in the chat. Good afternoon, TCO Community Network. Um, God bless you. Thank you for being with us this evening. Tonight on God's Guy and Gina Girl, this TCO Community Network, we have our very special guest, Mr. Jonathan McCullough. Jonathan, uh, it is with great love and admiration that I look to you and introduce you to the people on YouTube, this platform that is owned by the Lord Jesus Christ and only him. Hi. Hello, guy. How are you? Oh, man. If I was any better, there'd be two of me. <laughs> Thank you for having me on. Oh, it's my pleasure. So um, I just wanted to let folks know that um, there is no division in Christ. There is no division. We are all one family. We are all sons of Adam and Eve. We are all sons and daughters of Adam and Eve. We are all God's children. Last I looked, when I was in church, I was singing a song. It said something about black, or what does it go? Red and yellow, black and white. We are precious in his sight. Jesus Amen. loves all the children of the world. Amen. So, and I look to the Lord. I look to the Lord. I, you know, the Bible says, put your faith in no man. Man will fail you Amen. every time. And, uh, and uh, we also have Severe Anon in the house tonight. Oh, thank you, Severe. Can you hear me? Hey, what's up, my brother? All right. Well, I'm so glad you came in because... Uh, the music that you do, uplifting, uh, is 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 a is is a rap music, and it's and it's and it's uh, in a way that would would bring uh, admiration and honor to God, and 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 really support our movement. Uh, this is Space Shot seventy six, ladies and gentlemen, who's in the house tonight. My co-host, Mister Space Shot, welcome to the show. And, and and the cast of millions over here in the chat, welcome to the show. <laughs> we love you people. Thank you, moderators, for being here tonight. We love each and every one of you. Church was wonderful today. You guys, you guys, I just, I can't thank you enough for being here. We love you so much. Please, everybody, a warm welcome for Jonathan McCullough. All right, Jonathan, um, I told you, we only got Jonathan for a half an hour, folks. He's got to hit the big road, and he's got a lot of stuff that he's got to go do. So uh, I've always, you know, I failed to ask you around Christmas time, Jonathan, what's Diamond and Silk like? What are they like? Yeah. They're nice people. Um, I, I've met them on a, a couple of occasions um, in, a, in a professional setting. So, you know, um, I, I would assume that they're nice people. I tell you what, they're, they're Christian conservative. All right. <laughs> I like them already. <laughs> well, I love what they do. I love what they stand for. And I love Jesus. And I know they love Jesus. So uh, it's it's a natural thing for me to love them, uh, as well as Torrance Williams. I know you've met him. You've met a lot of people on the Trump train. and. Right. And it's just a it's just an honor to have you on again. I'm so glad that you returned. Of course, we now looking at, at some different circumstances. Um, right. We see that the the Russian collusion has failed in uh, hopes to impeach our president, our duly elected Where president. Are you, um, okay, thank you, mom. Uh, uh, there's nothing I can do about Jonathan's mic. Jonathan, you might want to get closer to your microphone, or if you can, turn up your audio, because uh, we're, we're seeing that uh, in the 5 by 5s and Gina said that it's hard to hear you. But uh, we, see, we see in our land, you know, that uh, that, that impeachment trap failed. Um, yes. that, then we had a pandemic that we believe, as, as brothers and sisters in the church, we believe that that was a pandemic. And that that failed, Absolutely. that failed as well. Uh, Absolutely. And we believe uh, that Jesus is using the new administration to expose the evil works of darkness. We believe that uh, this is a reckoning, that this evil is being exposed and it will soon be uh, eliminated. 
once and for all. So we have faith in our, 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 our Father God. We have faith in the new administration being used by God. And uh, I'm going to give the floor wide open now, Jonathan. Tell me, tell the folks what you told uh, me before we, uh, we were meeting in the room. Oh, oh, praise God. Thank you. Yes, it's, it's, um, we're battling principalities and wickedness in our high places. Uh, yep. God, God, God warned us that, that these days would come and we're here. So uh, without Jesus Christ, we're not going to be helped. So, you know, the, having the spirit of Jesus Christ is very important. Uh, the games that these people play are all emotional games because um, emotions are our flesh. believing everything that the world produces. Well, you first have to know who's the person. This, this, this world is the human standard. And uh, who is standard? Satan is a liar. He can fire from the beginning. In fact, he's the father of the fact. With that being said, you have to know that everything, the Romans speaking for us, it is that every man be a liar and let the word of God be true. So what we have to do, we have to trust and stand on the word, which is why uh, our president is having so much trouble from these demons these days because this is what President Trump is leading us to do. He said in his um, in his State of the Union address, he said in America, this was a profound state. This was a Moses-like state. He said in America, we don't worship government, we worship God. And that was profound. And those people sat down and applauded, or they tore up his speech. But this is all, this is all gospel. If, if we all remember, um, the story about Pharaoh. Once upon a time in Egypt, Pharaoh controlled the nation. Everybody worked for Pharaoh. Everybody was paid. If you had a talent or a skill or something that was beneficial to him per se, then you know you were somebody. But everybody else were, were, were peasant. But but that during that time, God did not like that. God sent Moses to deliver the children of Israel from Egypt so that they can learn to trust in him, learn to learn independence, learn faith. You understand and understand that he loves us more than the world loves us. So this is this is the um, experience that we experience in America, and it goes parallel the story of Moses to Egypt. So, you know, Donald, uh, Donald Trump's assignment is basically um, basically identical. His assignment is identical to what uh, Moses did back then. You know, the Bible says the Word of God, Jesus Christ, is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Nor does the scripture that so, you know that everything history repeats itself. So what we're doing is playing a role when the role of uh, Moses delivering the children out of Egypt is being played out right before our eyes uh, through Donald Trump. He does not want God does yeah. not want us to rely on the government because the government is ran by man and, and man the, the, the heart of man is desperately deceitful. Who could know it? But God. But so, so God does not want us in control of man because. You know, he doesn't have the heart and the love and the compassion God has. I hope you guys can hear me. I'm trying to talk louder, but, you know, that's basically what yep. we're going through right now. Yeah, we're having, yeah. Some, we're having some difficulty. Go ahead, Space Shot. Unfortunately, a lot of these people are so confused out there today. Like uh, one of my buddies, uh, you know, we're all Caucasians. And funny enough, my buddy put a post out and just says, you know, people need to kind of just chill out a little bit. Right. And he gets attacked by another 
another Caucasian guy telling him, you're a racist, you support a racist, shame on you, and all this. It's, it's just so out of control at this point. And it's just like, I wish people would take a deep breath and start realizing that they're being deceived, like literally 24-7 at every damn turn, and it's sickening. It's deception. And what we have is, um, at, at the end of the day, there's nothing you can do about those that have been infected with this deception. But offer, offer, offer Jesus to them. God said, if I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto me. You know, so what, what we have is a problem that, that we cannot solve. Only thing we can do is offer them um, the truth. Uh, it's up to them to uh, accept it or reject it. But at the end of the day, we know that uh, God wins. Um, evil, is a, evil is a condemned spirit. And anybody that it, uh, wishes to take with them, they, they, they will they'll take with them. So we're, we're excited. This is, a, this is not as bad as we think it is. This is an exciting time because what's going on is that the gospel is, is um, manifesting right before our eyes. We know that we must hold on to the promises of God, and um, but we know that God loved us. Otherwise, to put it on Donald Trump's heart to run for president and expose our adversary, um, he's a uh, he's a guy that didn't have to do that. Everybody knows that um, he could have uh, went and enjoyed his golden years down uh, in Montevago, Florida, and, and that would have been all. It's because he had a heart. And, and thank God, it is God that tr- controls the heart of the kings. And, and thank God that uh, he chose Donald Trump. You know, a lot of people don't know Donald Trump's history, the, the history that they should know. Uh, I saw a video where Donald Trump's uh, grandmother, I think she was a, uh, she was a, a missionary or something, and she was doing some missionary work in, um, over in Europe, and she was a praying woman. So a lot of people don't really know the spiritual heritage behind Donald Trump. How would they you know if they're not in the spirit themselves. But what we do, those of us in the faith know, and we're excited about it. Um, I support him 100%. You know, I love him. I love that his, his, his spirit of servitude, his spirit of service. And, and that's just the spirit of God. And we just, we just thank him. And in my organization, Urban Conservatives of America, this is some of the, some of which I'm telling you now is what I want to take to the urban communities around Houston first. And everywhere else, but I just want people to know they're being lied to. I mean, at the end of the day, if facts does not support your grievance, you've been played for an idiot, and that's just the bottom line. You know, uh, we don't just you know don't uh, don't allow Satan to control your emotions. As I said, the Bible said, cast these things down that exalt itself against the knowledge of God. Flesh, the flesh is like trying to put two magnets together. You know, they don't connect. Because the, one is the flesh and the other one is the spirit of God. As long as that flesh is there, there, there is a wedge. They will, they will never connect because well, that means that you cannot accept truth. So unless we come out of our emotions and deal with facts and reality, you know, uh, we'll be infected with this delusion. I agree. And, you know, I, I was just looking up, too, because I remember that story. And I think it was something about his grandmother or something. She was a praying woman. She had a Bible. And that Bible he actually he swore in on. And you know what her middle name was? <laughs> I just looked, I just found this out now. She's she's known to considered to be the matriarch of the Trump family. Her name was Elizabeth Christ Trump. <laughs> How about wow. that? Right? Wow, she married Frederick Trump in 1902. About. Crazy. But yeah, the one you were talking about too, she was she had a Bible, and I forgot exactly where it came from, but it was a, it was like a special Bible, and he got uh, sworn in on that Bible. Um, he kept it by his whole time. Yep, and it's in the Oval Office as we speak. Wow. God's mercy, God is faithful, and his mercy endures forever. All, all, all of the years that his grandmother's been gone, and he still has that Bible, and it was all, he was ordained as far as I, as far as I know, he was ordained before the foundation of the world for this particular time to save America. And as I said, this is a wonderful time. Amid all of the, the, the crisis and, and all of the chaos, God is a good God, and um, no good thing will he withhold from those that love him. And he's not into the racial thing. God is a spirit, and they that worship him must, that's the key word, must worship him in spirit and in truth. So this is where we are. Um, I, I, of course, we get disappointed 
and when we see people tearing up these beautiful American cities, these historic American cities. Yeah, it's out of control and, and destroying your own neighborhoods, most of them. And then, you know, I guess on the other side, you do have Antifa people coming from, you know, with not from within their own communities. They're coming from outside their communities and destroying other peaceful protests and turning them into these these riots that are, you know, and I can't stand it. It makes me sick every time I hear the people say, oh, well, wh-, you know, this guy actually came to me on Twitter and says, can you give me one Bible quote that, that talks about and justifies President Trump using military on defenseless protesters? I'm like, yeah, first off, and I showed him the, the, the clip of the police officer getting hit in the back of the head with a brick. I said, there's, right. your, there's your reason we have the military, not peaceful protesters. You know, right, right. It's out well, of control. We, People... we serve a God of God. We serve a God of law and order, accountability, responsibility, and correction. That's the bottom line. So uh, anything other than what I just mentioned is is not true. So, you know, every, every, as an American citizen, and in fact, as the president of the United States, he has a right to protect himself. So that these people better understand the law. If they don't, if they've never learned the constitution or the rights of, of, of the president or even themselves, they need to learn now. Because I heard somebody was, was talking about a group of people who don't crash the White House and demand that he leave. Well, I just hope I can't because they don't ever do that. Because what you're fixing to do is be, uh, you're fixing to be eliminated. Because, you know, God, Donald Trump is nothing to play with. He's God's anointed. And don't let this witchcraft fool you into thinking that you have a shot at him or his administration. He is the absolute chosen one. And I can be who's anybody. If you don't know what's going on, yeah. stand down. Because uh, yeah. the spirit of God, the kingdom of God is at hand. Hey, man. Well, Gina yeah. wants to come in here, you guys. So I'm going to take a short break and do some uh, wire work. I think I've got the audio fixed, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry about the audio uh, technical difficulties that we experienced earlier. Um, I'm, I'm seeing in the, in the chat that you guys can hear everybody. And ladies and gentlemen, Gina, God's girl. Hey, Miss Gina, let me let me serve you up on a platter here. So I was just going to go off of what Jonathan was, was saying about people, um, you know, turning their back on President Trump. It's how many of these people, you know, Democrats or people that are against President Trump are going against what what the word of God tells you about following your leaders. Right. right. I mean, right there alone. You're not following yeah, your leaders. You're going the- political. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead, sir. Yeah, they're all in violation, but but it doesn't surprise me because, you know, it, it's also in the word. God said that uh, everything hidden is going to be revealed. All with, The darkness has no place to hide. So, you know, you're going to get people that, you know, that were from both sides of the spectrum to uh, uh, being exposed. This is this is this is big. This is big. And, uh, here's the thing. Uh, he's not one of them. You understand? As I as I told a uh, guy earlier, yeah. that you know uh, he's playing. He has the responsibility that Moses had when he was delivering the children of uh, uh, Israel out of Egypt. He has the same responsibility. Nobody wanted Moses around. He, he, he suffered the same persecution. He was it was after getting him too. So this is the same. This this story. We're going, what's going on now? It goes parallel to scripture. So it doesn't surprise me of those people on the left and the right that are saying that they're not going to support him. Well, it doesn't matter because Donald Trump won the presidency with only 8% of the black vote. Right now, we're rocking over 41% and rising. I'm looking at 50%. So this this conservative movement is beyond uh, a natural uh, event. This is a supernatural um, experience that's going on in our nation. It has, so so now the carnal mind thinks that they can um, defeat this with uh, star power and influence power, but God is in control here, and um, He's not going to withhold anything from those people that love Him. He said, "Where well, two or three are gathered in My name, there I am in the midst." So just imagine all of the people that in America that are that are actually in the spirit. So we have nothing to worry about. He'll win another term. What we have to do is plan, and and we have to educate our our youth and our, our citizens on what conservatism really is. Do you, do you really want an opportunity? Do you really aspire to be all that you can be? Well, if you aspire to be all that you can be, the only way to make that possible is through God and less government. I always say, the bigger the government is, the less God is. Okay? And, and, yeah, and, absolutely. 
you know, the bigger the government, the less God is. Big God, small government. You know what I'm saying? Or, or either big government or small God. You have a choice. And, and the government has a, a spiritual responsibility to oppress you at the end of the day. So, you know, you have to be wise and you have to really, there's no other time that I can think of that I, I was able, I'm able to see how scripture actually God's word is actually playing out right before our eyes. It's really a time for people to accept Jesus in their heart. And what that does is frees them from being susceptible to uh, deception because the, the Bible says the devil is a liar and, he will do, and he's good at what he does. He'll make you believe something that you're looking right at and it's not even real. So we have to have the spirit of God. Jesus, Jesus is our only defense from a, from a, from a powerful wicked demon. Amen. Amen. I just want to shake some of these people sometimes. What do you got, Gina? How you been? That's, Hi. Oh, by the way, just just an alert on the salmon that these people are peddling. All right, I just gotta let you know the reviews on this salmon ooh, was awesome. I was gonna say, awesome. don't you come on this channel lying? <laughs> <laughs> so Zavir, we need no. your address, and then we could get you some salmon too. This next week, I'm making some more um, smoked salmon. So, yeah, I mean, uh, you are spot spot on, Jonathan. You know, I think that the more that people, you know, uh, I like I've been saying for a long time, you know, this whole great awakening, I believe, is a, is a spiritual awakening. And that God has really been trying to, um, you know, take the scales off of people's eyes so that they could see exactly what's been going on. You know, I think that it had to happen in stages. You know, people had to wake up and see all this evil that was going on behind the scenes because the only thing that is going to come combat evil is good. And the only thing that is good is the Lord, right? So if, if you see, if, if, it, if, you, if you look at it, because I used to tell my kids all the time, you know, step outside of step outside the situation and look at it from an outsider perspective. So if I take a look at how this has all happened, it's even with the whole Q movement and all that stuff, it has, what it has done is it has opened people's eyes and awakened them up in such a stages, you know, like, because let's face it, if everybody would have woken up all at once and had all this thrown on them, some people would have lost their mind, right? They would not have been able to handle right. it. But if you, mm -hmm. wake, if you wake people up in stages, like, you know, here is all the evil that's going on. Here's the corruption going on and over, all this stuff over here. And then here's this and here's that. But what it all boils down to is I don't want people to get stuck at here's the evil and here's the corruption and here's this and here's that. I want them to get past that. And I want them to see that the, what we are supposed to gravitate towards is to have in a relationship with the Lord, because the only thing that is going to combat evil is good. And the only thing that is good Amen. comes from the Lord. Amen. He says, be not overcome with evil. That's but right. Overcome evil with good. Right. <laughs> Right. So, I mean, you know, and what the other thing I wanted to say to Jonathan is that, you know, like I it's funny how when people are awake, um, you know, you, you see the devil scheme coming a mile away. Right. Like I, right. I would say 98 percent, if not 100 percent of the people that are in the chat right now were like, oh, we knew this was going to come. You know, like we 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 knew that there was going to be something that was going to come. What's the only card that they haven't played? Right, the race war. Okay, so yeah, bring it. Right. We know that that's going to come. But you know, we people that are awake, we see this stuff coming a mile away. So we put uh, like like the Bible tells us, put on your full armor, right? So you got your full armor on, so right. you can so you can stand against what the enemy is trying to throw at you. You know, and over and over right. and over, even like with with go back with what how space shot decodes Q and stuff like that. It's constantly being thrown in your face, you know, to stand, stand, um, put on the full armor and stand. And so that's what I'm, you know, that's why I was really glad when I, I seen you on Facebook and stuff. I was like, oh, Jonathan is on fire. I was like, tell a guy, babe, we got to get Jonathan back on. Wait till you hear what he has to say. Because, you know, like guys on Twitter a lot and, and Space Shot and Severe on Twitter but um, you're on Facebook and, you know, it's just nice because a lot of people think, oh, gosh, there's so much drama on Facebook. But I'm here to tell you guys, if you guys are on Facebook, you guys need to find Jonathan because he is on fire for the Lord. And he's just calling it out for what it is. He's like, this movement, he's like, this movement, garbage, ain't nothing but a lie from the devil. Don't fall for it. You know, and all these people are talking about how. 
you know, the Black Lives Matter movement has got these people bending on their knee, you know, apologizing. And Jonathan's like, what? No, <laughs> I am only bowing down to one person. <laughs> and, amen, I, amen. And, and don't nobody need to be apologizing to me because, you know, it's just, it's refreshing because there's a lot of people that are brainwashed. And it's nice that... Um, you know, that we have somebody like you that's in our family that, and it's not Amen. just you, you know what I mean? Like you have so many people that are with your guys's, um, the urban conservative patriots, right? Is that yes. right? Yes. Yeah. Urban conservatives of America. Urban conservatives of America. Yeah. And I mean, every day I'm steady seeing Jonathan's going, let's welcome this person to our family. Let's welcome that person to our family. And it's awesome because it just, it's, as much as like us here on YouTube, we have a little family. Jonathan has that growing. It's a, it's just another form of our movement where we are all brothers and sisters together, even though we're on separate platforms. So I just you know yeah. I, I'm great. I'm grateful that you know um, that I I don't even know how me and you became friends on Facebook. But you want to know what? I have a feeling that it was all a God thing because <laughs> look at now. Amen. Right? Amen. <laughs> it was, it was, and it's, it's been a pleasure knowing my family in Oregon. Yeah. You know, uh, as I say, this is a, this is a, this is a God thing, although we have different platforms, yeah. but it's all for the same purpose. Right. Uh, uh, what we do know is that the mainstream media has failed us. The mainstream media, every bit of what Donald Trump called it, the enemy of the people. Yeah. And most of God has released his prophet. Yeah. The Bible says those that are in the spirit, those are the sons of God. You understand? So at, at some point, like now, God has released those that are in the spirit to say what it is that needs to be said to save the sheep. And what we're doing on, on, on our social media platforms is all from above and it's all to the glory of God. And, it, and it's always a pleasure to see, you know, people um, use their mind. A mind is a terrible thing to waste. The devil has a tool and he uses your emotion. He, it, this is why... Have, uh, they play on white guilt and, and black anger. And it's, it's, all, it's all a game from Satan. And it just goes to show you how much Satan knows us. You know, he knows our, our common uh, characteristics and he plays for that. This is why Jesus was necessary in the first place. When he rose, he said, it is, I mean, before he died, he said, it is finished. And, he, and God gave him all power. And he, and he took death, hell, and the grave under captivity. So now, Nobody has nothing to worry about if you believe. The Bible says all things are possible for those that believe. So, you know, it's a, it's, it's a spiritual movement, and it's an honor and a privilege for me to be a part of it and, and, and to know you guys as well that are a part of this also. Amen. Yes, sir. So, Space Shot, uh, how did you like that uh, salmon? It was pretty yummy. Salmon, I love salmon. You know, we got this. Uh, <laughs> Listen, I love salmon. Uh, guy we, went, of Mexico, we don't get salmon. We get red fish, trout. We don't get salmon. I'm gonna have to get some salmon from you guys. You guys yeah. be shipping UPS on some high Yeah, ice. Listen, let me tell you what, Jonathan. <laughs> I Guy and Elijah go fishing, and um, they so they catch it, and um, we you know we decided that because we have a lot of people that moderate for us, right? And, you know, they deal with a lot of trolls that come on here and they, you know, keep the chat clean and do a lot for us and stuff. And so so one day me and Guy were talking and I said, hey, how about we send some of our moderators in Space Shot, you know, because Space Shot's always on here with us. I said, how about we send some of our moderators some salmon? And so we did. And, yeah, so anyways, they're supposed to go fishing, I think, Monday before they go down and, they're going to go down and spend some time, see Patriot Mike. Um, he just got out of the hospital, so they're going to go. We're going to go down there and see him. But anyways, yes, yeah, so when they catch some fish, if uh, you email me your address. Look at I'm just steady giving away. I'm steady giving away all their fish that they catch. <laughs> well, you guys got a bit. You guys got the – that was a huge fish. I mean, the one they caught last time was yeah. almost half the size of Elijah. Yeah, huge. it's wow. And it's gone. We've given most of it away. But you want to know, the, the thing about it is, is we look at it like, um, you know, I mean, God, God always provides for us. You know, we, 
whether we have, you know, whether guys work in or he gets side jobs or people give donations or whatever, you know, that's one thing that I can honestly say before we had a relationship with God, uh, you know, we used to stress and worry and is our bills going to get paid? You know, are we going to have enough food and stuff like that? And that's just not something that we worry about. You know, we know without a shadow of a doubt that God's going to take care of us. It's not going to be a Amen. matter of if or when it's going to be a matter of how, how miraculous does he show us exactly what he's going to do? I mean, there's been times where he's been, it's been like the day that all of the bills were due within hours, but it never fails. God makes sure that he provides everything for us. So when we get the fish, you know, guys, like, here's the thing, you know, God gave it to us. We, if we can bless people, let us bless people. And so that's what that's what we're going to continue to do. That's what he's wow. catching. Wow. Me catch them, wampum fish. Yeah. Give so, to my brother. Wow. <laughs> yes. Was that no as big as the one that, um, you got a picture of the one Elijah uh, caught? Because that was, is that bigger than that one? Uh, oh, Elijah's was think, bigger than that one, yeah. Yeah, Elijah, Elijah's was 17.5 pounds, man. That thing was a monster. Yeah, so Jonathan uh, says... Jonathan says he doesn't get no salmon. He said, you know, you can send your brother down some. I said, send me your address. <laughs> that's, that's why I came in. I was going to tell you, get Jonathan's address. Yeah, get Jonathan's yeah address. Jonathan, you can send me your address in Messenger on Facebook. And and this week, literally, guy just took some salmon out of the freezer. And so we're going to smoke some this week, and I'll send you some. All right, who knows? I might be coming to Oregon. Who knows? Okay, you come to Oregon. We have a spare bedroom you can stay. All right, I'm ready to hang out with you. All right, we're good. Okay, so you done now? Yes, ma'am. You're back? Yeah, I'm back. Okay. I, I'm, all of the problems have been fixed, and uh, I think we'll have uh, uh, the rest of the show will be fine. He was eating dinner. And dinner was wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Technical difficulties all taken care of. Yeah, Jonathan, you'll, you'll love this. Uh, the, the salmon, it was done with teriyaki, and then they put some little bit of pepper, and then what, uh, brown well, sugar as well? Here. Yeah, so good, so good. I don't know if you can see Look at that. this fish. Look at the fish he's holding wow. on the right. It's a big boys. Can you see it? That's the fish they caught, Jonathan. Wow. <laughs> they, that's all they get is huge fish down there, up there, apparently. So, wow. you know, God delivered us, man. We were living in Southern California, taking care of my mom for the past six years. And, uh, and we said, Lord, please get us out of Southern California. We, we can't take it anymore. I mean, we, we took care of mom. We did everything. So, and here's the thing. Gina kept having these visions in her dreams. And she kept seeing this little yellow house up, up, up on a hill in some bushes and with green everywhere all around the house and deer running around in the backyard. And she kept having these dreams and I thought she was just pulling my leg at first, but I said, okay, baby, you know, I kind of humor her. Okay, baby, whatever you say, I know we're not <laughs> going to live here anymore. I know, I know we got to get out of here because they're spraying us like cockroaches. The chemtrails were really bad in Southern California. Not much better up here, but it was really bad in Southern California. So, um, and the people weren't, weren't as friendly. I mean, the, we had some good people that we lived next door to, and we always try to reach out to our neighbors, but it was different. It's a, it's a real fast pace. The leadership in that in that community was almost well. It's all Democrat, so uh, you can only imagine. I mean, the churches are fighting tooth and nail to 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 uh, hold their congregations, you know, again and and get get the ball rolling again. They, you know, it's it's all fear. It's all fear, and this is it, it, and God delivered us from that. And and then sure enough. About two weeks after she started having these dreams, she went on Facebook community looking for a place up here so we could get back with our children again after we'd already taken care of mom down there. And sure enough, she saw the house of her dreams, in her dreams. Wow. And so she said, honey, this is the house. This is the house. It's on an acre. It's got an acre in the, or two acres. Well, acre in the front, acre in the back. This is the house I saw in my dreams. And so I looked at it and I said, baby, I got my job, but the job's an hour and a half north of that location because I was shooting for Philomath or Corvallis, and right. uh, and this is further further south. But God made it happen, and so we're just, 
you know, a living testimony to what God can do if you seek him first. Amen. And, and so mm -hmm. and so that's how we wound up here. So we're more than happy to share our salmon with you guys or our venison or our wild turkey, whatever comes first, whatever the Lord blesses us with. We're more than happy to share it with everybody. <laughs> hey, guy. Yeah, I uh, I have to leave at 3 a.m. in the morning. Um, mm. Let me just say I love you guys. I love you and your wife. Uh, thank you guys for having me on. It's always a pleasure hanging out with you. Um, I might be coming to Oregon. Who knows? I'll give you a call and uh, maybe we can hang out. You definitely but, got a place uh, to stay here, man. Anytime shot, you thank you. Nice to meet you again. Um, I look forward to um, connecting with you guys again. Um, yes, sir. Can, anybody that uh, would like, uh, you can follow me on Urban Conservatives of America corporate, the corporate page. Um, if you guys like to, you're welcome to come over there. Uh, God bless you guys, uh, and thank you for having me on. Hey, bro, it's a pleasure, awesome. and we and we love having you. I'm going to lift you in prayer right now and just pray that God Amen. will protect you and, and your family as well. Father God, thank you so much for bringing Jonathan on with us tonight. God, we just lift up him and his family, Lord. Please keep him safe on his job. And, Lord, uh, I, I just pray safe travels wherever he goes. And, Lord, protect this man because he truly is one of your favorites and one of ours as well. We see, his, we see your fingerprints all over our brother Jonathan. Thank you for bringing him with us tonight. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Love Praise you, bro. Thank you so much. Thanks.